Welcome back, everyone, to another episode about throwing stones and the great tactic that it is. First, we're going to start off with using our spyglass and marking enemies with the little red arrow at the top on your compass bar. Um, Got to know that the farther out you have to throw a stone, the more upgrades that you have to throw it farther, the more it has to focus, so the longer it takes. Now, when you use these stones and you knock these players out, like this part right here, their comrades, if they're near enough, will be notified or they'll see them, and then they'll come over to that that fallen uh, NPC. Now, you can't throw through a barn, even though there's an opening, because it'll hit during that arc. You also can't hit the uh, other NPC when they're doing the action to wake up their other friend. But I can knock their friend back out. Just like that. So, um... When you're fully aimed, you don't have to be exactly following the character, and you can kind of have a little bit of leeway when you're throwing the stones. Um, and once you have intimidated somebody, when you finally get them to leave, there's not a immediate notification of that person when they run past. They don't get the attention put on you. Uh, once they are out, you can loot or intimidate them and it's always easiest to throw rocks instead of arrows because they don't whistle within that certain time frame but they do have enough sound to attract an enemy if thrown close by and they don't attract as much attention in the end and as always thanks for stopping by